right there, mister. Don't take another step, or we'll blow your fucking head off. You're big, and I don't have any big friends. You better just go out the way you came in. You don't want to go there. That's where the monsters are. We got pretty good at keeping them out. Probably better than you could do. The big ones. You know, the ones that sort of look like people, except they're all wrong. Yeah, I do. But it's through Little Lamplight, and you're not getting into Little Lamplight. Guess you better find some other way, Mungo. Hell no! No Mungo's allowed! Oh yeah? You must like having such a good-looking butt. <laughs> You're pretty funny for a Mungo. Why don't you come on in? Happy birthday, Sticky. Sorry I missed your party. Yeah, me too. Wow, what luck! I'm Sticky. Forget these little kids. I'll take you to Big Town where the Mungos, I mean where the grown-ups live. I'm headed there now. Big Town? You've never heard of it? It's where all the grown-ups go. Well, at least when they grow up and out of Little Lamplight. I can show you the way. There's no reason to waste your time with a bunch of snot-nosed kids. Let's go now. I'm not allowed in Little Lamplight anymore. Only people under 18 get to live in Little Lamplight. So when you're done with those little kids, we can go to Big Town together. I'll wait outside for you. Sorry. Watch it. Gosh, you're big. if anyone told you yet, but let me set the record straight. I'm Princess. When you're around me, I'm in charge. You shut up and do what I say, because I'm boss around here. That clear? Now who are you? Oh, you'll listen to me. Otherwise, I'll have my good pal RJ kick you out of the town. Or better yet, lock you in the vault. So don't push me, new meat. Just nod and move on, and I think we'll get along just fine. We don't go there. It's bad back there. Ask the Mayor if you really want to know.
don't just let any son of a bitch into my town. I'm taking a risk making an exception for you. So you're welcome in my town. At least until you start screwing up. Once that bullshit starts, you're out on your own again. Good. Better stay that way, Mungo. You don't want to go there. That's where the monsters are. We got pretty good at keeping them out. Yeah, I do. It's through Murder Pass. Not a real safe way to go, but it's the only door that works. It's the only way that works, yeah. The other door hasn't worked since before I was here. Computer's busted and not even Joseph can make it work. If you're going to go through Murder Pass, let me know and I'll have the door open for you. But I still say it's a bad idea. I'm the mayor, not a babysitter. Maybe he's back there by the door. Fuck if I know. You sure about that? It's scary in there. Even I don't like going in there, and I'm really brave. Okay, if you say so. Come on, let's get the gate open for you, Mungo. Watch it. Well, here's something I don't see every day. A new face and little lamplight. A bit big for one of our kids, but you seem all right. What's your story down here? I'm Joseph, and around here, I might as well be the old wise man. Try not to interrupt my classes, and I think we'll get along just fine. As the oldest kid in town, I spent most of my time teaching, but I do what I can to keep the kids clean and fresh-faced. If you're looking for a haircut, feel free to ask. I'll do what I can. Nuh-uh. Door works fine. Computer's broke. Well, maybe not broke, but it sure don't work right. I turned it off because it was just wasting power. Nope. Nobody ever wrote it down. And then one day somebody forgot. You know how it goes. Sure, if you want. Come on, it's over here.
Watch it.
where you're born! More games! Time to die!
Now try and hide! <laughs> Struck about by the others. 
My name's Fox. I've lived in this cage all my life. Yes, indeed it is ironic. Forgive my astonishment, but I hadn't expected to meet someone with such a learned outlook of these things. It is a pleasant change. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. It was only a matter of time before someone like you showed up for the deck. I know what it is. I know where it is. And best of all, I know how you can get your hands on it. Because you can help me let me out of this place. I can't take it anymore. I can't even recall how long I've been here. Take me with you, and I'll retrieve the Gek for you. The chamber in which the Gek resides is absolutely flooded with radiation. It's unlikely you'd survive very long. Myself, on the other hand, have surprisingly inherited a useful trait from my fellow Meta Humans, I am highly resistant to radiation. Let me out of here, and I will place the Gek safely in your hands. At the end of the hallway, to your right is a maintenance room. Inside, you'll find the fire control console for the medical area. Uh, trip the alarm on it, and I'll be able to get out. Oh, a word of warning, though. Tripping the console activates a failsafe and will open all the recovery rooms in the medical area. So, what do you think? Can you do it? Glad to see you are a sensible person. Now... Get me out of this place! I can't stand it anymore! We can discuss this later. Right now, concentrate on getting this door open! It is my hope that we will speak again soon.
Can't you see? They're all dead! It's all my fault! Finally! Freedom! True freedom! Ha ha ha! I cannot thank you enough for this gift. You have no idea how long I pictured this moment in my mind. And it feels far better than I'd imagined. Now, for my part of the bargain, follow me. <laughs> <laughs> 